We are confronting the predator who has fortified himself somewhere and launching attacks against our lives. So we are using the weapons of our warfare which are not carnal, but which are mighty through God to the pulling down of satanic strongholds. That it doesn't matter where the enemy is hiding. It doesn't matter the size of the enemy. It doesn't matter what, what sort of weapons he has. Right? We have superior weapons. We have sophisticated weapons that are able to pull down the strongholds of the enemy, which are able to pull down any size of enemy, whatever they are, whoever they are, whatsoever, whosoever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, right, our key scripture, we know it, and it's Isaiah chapter 49. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty, or the lawful captive be delivered? And our talk, topic this evening is the lawful captive is delivered by fire. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So, who is the lawful captive? The lawful captive is someone who has volunteered to be captured by the hyena, who has volunteered to be bewitched by the witch, the one who has volunteered and walked with their eyes open into a witchcraft coven and started to cooperate with witches and wizards. That is a lawful captive, right? A lawful captive is someone who is trying to defy or what is called good and cooperating with the enemy who fights anything that is called God in our lives. Anything that is good in our lives, yes, is being fought by the enemy. And we find that there is a, a lawful captive who is cooperating with the enemy. And now, shall that person be, that captive be delivered? The answer is yes. Let us read the scripture. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty? Shall the lawful captive be delivered? But that says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with those that contend with thee and I will serve your children. Hallelujah. So we are continuing to pray for our lives, for ourselves together with our children. In the name of Jesus, the children are bearing the brand of the enemy. They are on the they, they are on the firing line of the enemy. The enemy is trying by all means to switch off the prayer from our houses, from our lives. That when you and me are, are, are gone, that the next generations, the enemy is trying to say that this is not going to be a prayerful generation. It's just going to be the, the captives or the prey of the terrible predator. That's, 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 that's not going to happen in the name of Jesus. This is why we are praying in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This is how, this, if you, right, okay, I'm not going to lose time in Jesus' name. Okay, and verse 26 says, And I'll feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine. And all the flesh shall know that I am the Lord, am the, your Savior, and your Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. You know Jacob, you know why God says her, the mighty one of Jacob. Jacob was, if, if, if Jacob, Jacob, you remember, Jacob snatched the birth rider. Jacob took everything by fire and by force. Jacob wrestled with God, you remember? Jacob wrestled with God. And we know that his name was changed from Jacob to Israel. And now we talk about Israel. And Israel is there. The nation of Israel is there in the Middle East. Hallelujah. You can actually fly and land in Tel Aviv. You can actually fly and, and land in Jerusalem. Right there. Israel is there. And it's coming from this one. The mighty one of Jacob. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we are moving and we know that we have the, our power coming from God. And that God is the one who's going to fight our battles. And the mighty predator is going to go down in the name of Jesus. So, right. Last night we tried to, to, 
to show the power, the exceeding, the immeasurable power that God has. And that this strength and the power was shown and demonstrated when Jesus Christ was raised from the dead. That the enemy thought he had power. The predator thinks that they've got power. The witch think they think that they've got power. The sangoma thinks that they've got power, but they don't have power. Hallelujah. They, they are trying to take advantage of ignorance of the church, of the children of God. The enemy is preying on the ignorance of the, the people of God, of the children of God. Hallelujah. But then now you and me, we are awake. We are awake. We are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. Right? We know who we are. And that there is a power that was exerted when Jesus Christ was raised from the dead. And that power, it just, it, it, what is, what is what's the password? It reversed all what the enemy had done. It reduced to zero all what the enemy had done. It reduced to zero all the efforts of the enemy. The enemy killed and he used, that was his greatest weapon. But then when Jesus was raised from the dead, we find that the enemy was undone. The enemy could not lift his head again. The enemy could not do anything again. He just noticed that he was undone. He had no more power. The demons were must down the street with no clothes. They were stripped naked. All their weapons were frustrated. Everything was exposed. All, every deceit was exposed. Everything was exposed. And they were all undone. Right? By Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is in your heart and in my heart. Right? So what am I talking about? I'm talking about the things that are challenging our lives. That whatever is coming our way, we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. And Jesus Christ came to proclaim liberty, physical and spiritual, liberty to the physical and spiritual captives. Right? That the predator had captured. They, yes, they captured someone. Someone's health had been captured. Someone's health was captured. Someone's finances were captured. Someone's business was captured. Someone's marriage was captured. Someone's children were captured by the predator. But Jesus Christ came up to proclaim liberty to the physical and spiritual captives. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Right. And we are using the name of Jesus. We are soon going to pray some good prayers, some fun, okay, powerful prayers. Hallelujah. Right. Let me take you back to Ephesians chapter 1. You know that I like that scripture, right? Without any wasting of time, let's move on. Verse 17. For I always pray to the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, that he may grant you the spirit of wisdom and revelation of insight into the mysteries and secrets in the deep and intimate knowledge of him. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. There is what is called intimate knowledge of Christ. There is what is called deep and deep knowledge and wisdom that comes from God. There is a revelation that comes from God. The opening of the understanding that comes from God. That you start to know things that you were not supposed to know. Like Peter. His, his, his understanding were opened. And he started to understand that Jesus Christ was the Messiah. That is given only by God. So now Paul is saying now, I desire and I'm praying that the Lord may give you the spirit of wisdom and of revelation, of insight and mystery, <coughs> excuse me, into the mysteries and secrets, and the deep and intimate knowledge of him. By having your eyes, the eyes of your heart flooded with light so that you can know and understand the hope to which he has called you. Hallelujah. We have been called by God. And why did God call us? Why did God save you and me? There is a reason why God called you to be a Christian. In the name of Jesus. Right? So he's saying, by 
having the eyes of your heart flooded by light so that you can know and understand the hope to which he has called you and how rich his glorious inheritance in the saints. Hallelujah. And that, that's not where I'm going. Let me take you to the verse where I'm going. We pass through verse 19. And it says, And so that you can know and understand what is the immeasurable and unlimited and surpassing greatness of his power in and for us who believe, as demonstrated in the working of his mighty strength, which he exerted in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him on his right hand in the heavenly places. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Right. So there is a power that is working within you and that is working within me. And that is the same power that was exerted when Jesus was raised from the dead. And Jesus was set now. He was put on the right hand side of, of God. Seated him on his right hand side in the heavenly places. Right. Fantastic. Right. Let's move on. And for far above. Right. So now you see now the position of Jesus Christ. Right. The position of Jesus Christ is the right hand side of the Father in the heavenly places. Right. But what, what is happening? Far above all rule, far above all authorities, far above all powers and dominions over every name that can be named, above every title that can be conferred, not only in this age or in this world, but also in the age and the world which is to come. So Jesus Christ is seated on the right hand side of the Father. Far above all powers, all rules, far above all names, far above sickness and disease, far above the predator, far above the python, far above the hyena, far above all everything and everything, over every scorpion, over every serpent, over every power that the enemy possesses. He is seated right there. This is why he said, I give you power. To trample upon the serpents and scorpions. So we cannot be afraid. We are not supposed to be intimidated by anything. Let's, want, let's keep on firing. In the name of Jesus. That which you are believing God for. It's coming in the name of Jesus. You are going to come back rejoicing. Bearing your sheaves with you. You are going to come back rejoicing. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are sowing. You might be sowing in tears right now. Your heart might be not correctly positioned. You might be disappointed. You might be you heartbroken in this way or that way. You might have a sickness that is defying solution. But you are coming back with your sheaves. You are coming back with rejoicing. Bearing your sheaves with you. Carrying your harvest in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Why? Because Jesus Christ is seated and we're using his name. He's seated far above principalities and powers. Right. Now, I've got two minutes maybe to conclude this. Right. Verse 22 says, And he has put all things under his feet. And he has appointed him the universal and supreme head of the church. The headship exercised throughout the church. Hallelujah. So Jesus Christ is the head of the church. Say thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus Christ is the head of the church. The church is the body of Christ. The church is the body of Christ. Jesus Christ is the head of, 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 of the church. Right. Now he says, and he has put all things under his feet. And he has appointed him to be the universal and supreme head of the church. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So, where is the, the church? If Jesus Christ is seated on the right hand side of the Father, far above all rule, far above all dominions, far above all titles that can be conferred. Now, if Jesus is the head of the church, where is the church? And who is the church? The church is you and me. Right? It means we are seated together 
with Christ Jesus on the right hand side of the Father, far above dominions, far above serpents and scorpions, far above predators, far above all what the enemy can do. We are seated together with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. And he says, uh, which is the body, right? So the church is his body. The fullness of him who fills all in all. For in that body lives the full measure of him. Hallelujah. That in the church dwells the full measure of him who makes everything complete. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I hope this is not too, too deep. Hallelujah. 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 Ephesians chapter 2, we're concluding now in the name of Jesus. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 6. And he raised him up together. Sorry. He raised us up together with him and made us sit together, giving us joint sitting with him in the heavenly sphere. Can you hear that? This is Ephesians chapter 2 now, verse 6. And he has raised us up together with him and made us sit together with him, giving us joint sitting with him in the heavenly sphere by virtue of us being in Christ Jesus, the Messiah, the anointed one. Right, okay, fine. Now we're going to pray. Right, let me break down this thing in one second, in one sentence, <laughs> if, if possible. Right, so oh, what, is, what that scripture is saying is that uh, we are raised together with Christ. Jesus Christ is seated on the right hand side of the Father. Above all principalities and powers, above dominions, above all names and titles, above everything. He is the supreme head of the church. And who is the church? The church is you and me. And Jesus is the head of the church. Right now, if Jesus is seated on the right hand side of the Father... It means the church also is seated on the right hand side of the Father. And we've just seen it in Ephesians chapter 2 that he, he raised us up together with him and made us sit together, giving us joint sitting with him in the heavenly spheres. So we are together with Christ. We cannot be defeated. We are using and utilizing the power that raised up Jesus from the dead. And that the enemy cannot match that power. So we cannot give in. It doesn't matter what is coming our way. We cannot give up. It doesn't matter the disease. It doesn't matter the threat, the sounds or the sights. It doesn't matter the pain. It doesn't matter what is going on on the ground right now. We continue firing the prayer in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So we are continuing to hold on to Christ Jesus, knowing that we are more than conquerors, knowing that we can do all things through him, knowing that God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or even care to imagine according to the power that works within us. Hallelujah. Resurrection power. The same power that raised up Jesus is residing in your life. And now... It, it's rejuvenating your mortal flesh. It's going to give you power in every direction. You have authority over in every direction. Let us pray right now. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Just pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Make me a child of God. Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me of every sin and every transgression. Lord Jesus Christ, Wash my mind, wash my heart, wash my soul, my spirit, and my body with your blood. Give me a new nature. Give me a new personality. Lord Jesus Christ, come into my heart and make me a child of God. Lord Jesus Christ, give me eternal life. You Satan and your demons, I reject you. I scatter you by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, get out of my life. I don't belong to you anymore. I belong to Jesus. In the name of Jesus, say, my Father, my God, I thank you that I'm now your child forever. I'm no longer belonging to the devil. I don't belong to the devil anymore. In the name of Jesus, thank you, my Father, that you have washed me with the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. So we are voicing out every word aloud and with emphasis. Don't worry about who is close to you or who is not close to you. Hallelujah. Say every witch and every wizard that is on a dry fast in order to destroy my life, collapse and die by thunder. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You heard the prayer point. Every witch and every wizard that is on a dry fast in order to destroy your life, to destroy your marriage, to destroy your children, to destroy your health, to destroy your business, to destroy your career. They have to collapse and die by fire. In the name of Jesus. This is exactly what they do. They go on a seven-day fast, dry fast. Yes, and these witches and wizards are so that they can destroy someone's marriage. Now they have to collapse and die. They go on a dry fast so that they can destroy someone's children, someone's destiny. This is how they draw, they pull their own power from demonic powers from the devil by going on a dry fast and they don't eat, they bind themselves with a grievous author and, 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 and a covenant that we are not going to eat, we are not going to drink until we see that marriage going down, until we have destroyed those children, until we have destroyed someone's destiny, until we have destroyed every, that business, until we've gone, that's when we are going to eat. And then they go, they go. Now we are countering that. We are releasing the sophisticated weapons of our warfare that are not canal, that are able to pull down every bunker and destroy every citadel of the enemy. Say every witch, every wizard that is on a dry fast. Yes, in order to destroy my life, you are a liar. I command you to collapse and die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, every witch, every wizard that is on a dry fast, that is in order to destroy my life, in order to destroy my life, you are a liar. I command you to collapse and die by fire. Every witch, every wizard that is on a dry fast, in order to destroy my life, you are a liar. I command you to die by fire. I command you to die by fire. Every witchcraft power that is on a dry fast in order to destroy my health, you are a liar. I command you to collapse and die by fire. Every witch, every wizard that is on a dry fast in order to destroy my marriage, you are a liar. I command you to collapse and die. I command you to collapse and die by fire. I command you to collapse and die by fire. I command you to collapse and die by fire. I command you to collapse and die by fire. I command you to collapse and die by fire. I command you to collapse and die by fire. In the name of Jesus, any witch, any wizard that is on a dry fast in order to destroy your marriage, in order to destroy your health, in order to destroy your family, let, let them collapse and die. In the name of Jesus, collapse and die by fire. In the name of Jesus, any man, any woman that is on a dry fast, that is working in order to destroy my life, in order to destroy my children, you are a liar. I command you to collapse and die by fire. I command you to collapse and die by fire. In the name of Jesus, whosoever, whatsoever, any man, any woman, any boy, any girl, that is on a dry fast in order to destroy my life, in order to destroy my destiny, I command you to scatter by fire fire. I command you to collapse and die by fire. In the name of Jesus, whosoever, whatsoever, any man, any woman, any boy, any girl, yes, who have vowed not to eat until they see my downfall, you are a liar. I command you to fall down by fire. In the name of Jesus, any man, any woman, any boy, any girl, that has vowed never to eat or to drink until they see my downfall. You are a liar. I command you to die by fire. I command you to die by fire. 
I command you to die by fire. In the name of Jesus, any witch, any wizard that has vowed, that has vowed not to eat, that has vowed not to drink anything until they seen my downfall, until they've knocked me down. You are a liar. I command you to collapse and die by fire. In the name of Jesus, pray for yourself. In the name of Jesus, any man, any woman, any boy, any girl, any witch, any wizard, any satanic power, any spirit husband, any marine power that has vowed that they will not eat or drink anything until they've seen me going down. You are a liar. I command you to go down by fire. I command you to go down by thunder. I command you to go down by fire. I command you to go down by fire. I command you to go down by thunder. I command you to go down by fire. I command you to go down by fire. I command you to go down by fire. In the name of Jesus, yes, every occultic power that is on a drive faster in order to destroy my life. You are a liar. I command you to go down by fire. I command you to go down by fire. I command you to go down by thunder. I command you to go down by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, whosoever, whatsoever, any man, any woman, any boy, any girl, who has vowed that they will not eat anything, they will not drink anything, until they've destroyed my finances, until they've destroyed my business, until they've destroyed my career. You are a liar. I command you to fall down by thunder. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, I command you to go down by fire. I command you to go down by thunder. I command you to go down by fire. I command you to go down by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, any man, any woman, any boy, any girl that has vowed yes, not to eat or to drink anything until they have destroyed my children, you are a liar. I command you to go down by fire. I command you to go down by thunder. I command you to go down by fire. I command you to die by fire. In the name of Jesus, say any serpent and spirit on a dry fast that in order to destroy my life, I command you to faint. I command you to collapse and die in the name of Jesus. Any witchcraft power, any serpentine spirit, any python spirit, any, any mermaid spirit, any witchcraft power from the village, any satanic power from my father's house, from my mother's house, we have vowed not to eat anything or to drink anything until they've destroyed my destiny. You are a liar. I command you to die by fire. I command you to die by fire in the name of Jesus. Household wickedness that I want to drive faster in order to destroy my life. You are a liar. I command you to go down by fire. Go down by thunder. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Whosoever, whatsoever, any neighbor, an unfriendly friend, every friendly enemy, every household wickedness that has vowed to destroy my destiny, that has vowed to be an impediment, to be a hindrance to my shining. You are a liar. I command you to go down and die by fire. I command you to go down and die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, whosoever, whatsoever, any satanic priest, any satanic priest, Standing on an evil altar and chanting evil prayers against my life, I command you to collapse and die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, say every witchcraft power on a dry fast in order to steal, to kill, and to destroy my life, I command you to be set on fire. I set you on fire. I set you on fire. Any witchcraft power on a dry fast in order to destroy, in order to steal, in order to kill my children. You are a liar. I set you on fire. 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 In the name of Jesus, any witchcraft power 
on a drive faster in order to steal, in order to kill, in order to destroy my children, in order to steal, in order to kill, in order to destroy my grandkids. You are a liar. I set you on fire. 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 In the name of Jesus, say, O county priest, that is on a drive faster in order to destroy my life, in order to destroy my family, in order to steal, to kill, and destroy my children. You are a liar. Collapse and die by thunder. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, say every wicked power on a night vigil. Yes, every wicked power that is on an evil night vigil. Yes, in order to destroy my children, collapse and die by fire. You know, a, a, a vigil, a vigil, you're staying all night and praying. This is an all night prayer. So now these people, these satanic powers, they go on a night, an all night prayer, starting from 7 p.m. until 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. Seated and chanting evil prayers. There is discipline in those covens. There is discipline. There is order in those places. They mean business. If they target someone, they go on a night vigil like that. Starting 7 until 5 or 6 a.m. the following day. Until they've seen them, they what they want. In the name of Jesus, they have to go down. They have to go down by fire. Say any witchcraft power, any wicked power that is on a night vigil. That's any wicked power embarking on a night vigil yes, in order to destroy my life, in order to destroy my children. I, you are a liar. Collapse and die by fire. In the name of Jesus, any wicked power, any witchcraft power that is embarking on an all-night prayer, on an all-night evil prayer in order to destroy my health, in order to destroy my finances, in order to destroy my career, in order to destroy my job, in order to destroy my reputation, in order to destroy my future, in order to destroy my destiny. You are a liar. I command you to collapse and die by fire. I command you to collapse and die by fire. I command you to collapse and die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, say wicked powers that are going on a night vigil in order to pray evil prayers against my children. You are a liar. I command you to collapse by fire and by thunder. In the name of Jesus, fall down and die by fire and by thunder. Fall down and die by fire and by thunder. In the mighty name of Jesus, any wicked powers, any household wickedness, yes, any polygamous witchcraft that is embarking on an all-night prayer, an all-night evil prayer meeting against my life, against my family. You are going to go down. You are going down by fire and by thunder. You are going down by fire and by thunder. You are going down by fire and by thunder. You are going down by fire. You are going down by thunder. You are going down by fire. You are going down by thunder. In the mighty name of Jesus, Say any witch, any wizard, drawing powers from the sun, from the moon, from the stars, from the waters, from the air, and to destroy my life, to destroy my children, catch fire and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, say any witch, any wizard, any native doctor, any occultic power that is pulling power, drawing power from the sun, drawing power from the moon, drawing power from the stars in order to destroy my children, in order to destroy my marriage, in order to destroy my health, in order to destroy my career, in order to destroy my business. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus, every witchcraft power, every sangoma that is drawing power 
from the sun, from the moon, from the stars, in order to destroy my children, in order to destroy my marriage. You are a liar. I command you to collapse and die by fire. I command you to collapse and die by fire. I command you to collapse and die by fire. I command you to collapse and die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, say, let the angels of God, let the non-nonsense angels of God locate and destroy every sangoma that is pulling and drawing power from the sun, from the moon, from the stars, in order to destroy my family. Let them be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, say, let the angels of God, let the fighter angels of God, let the warrior angels of God locate and destroy every wicked personality, every power from the village that is pulling power, drawing power from the sun, drawing power from the moon and the stars in order to destroy my life. In the name of Jesus, let the angels of God locate and destroy any power, any, any spirit that is to, to pulling power, that is drawing power from the elements, that is drawing power from the water, that is drawing power from the air in order to destroy my family, in order to destroy my health, in order to destroy my destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the warrior angels of God locate and destroy the power base of any power, any spirit that is pulling power from the sun, from the moon, from the, from the stars against my life. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Say, my God, my father, appear and promote my children beyond imagination. In the name of Jesus, say, my God, my father, appear and promote me beyond imagination. In the mighty name of Jesus, my God, my father, appear and promote me, appear and promote my children beyond imagination. In the mighty name of Jesus, my God, my father, appear in my life, manifest in my life, manifest your power, yes, and promote me, promote my children beyond imagination. In the mighty name of Jesus, say you have inherited limitations affecting me and my children scatter now by fire. Inherited limitations affecting me and my children. I command you to scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, inherited limitations affecting my life. I command you to scatter by thunder. Scatter now by fire. In the name of Jesus, inherited limitations, inherited embargoes affecting my life. I command you to scatter by fire. I command you to scatter by fire. Inherited limitations, inherited embargoes, yes, affecting my life now, affecting my career now, affecting my job now, affecting my business now, affecting my destiny now, scatter now by thunder. Scatter now by thunder. Scatter now by thunder. Scatter now by thunder. In the mighty name of Jesus, say supernatural wisdom, supernatural knowledge, supernatural understanding. Fall upon me now. Fall upon my children now. In the name of Jesus, say supernatural understanding, supernatural wisdom, supernatural knowledge. That fall upon me now. Fall upon my children. Fall upon my husband. Fall upon my wife. Now, in the name of Jesus, say supernatural wisdom, supernatural knowledge, supernatural understanding. Fall upon me now. In the name of Jesus, say spirit of wisdom, spirit of knowledge, spirit of understanding, spirit of insight. Be activated in my life now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Spirit of God, manifest yourself through my life. Say, Spirit of the living God, I allow you to manifest yourself through my life. Manifest yourself through my life. Say, Spirit of the living God, I'm available. Manifest yourself through my life. Say, Lord Jesus Christ, I am available. Manifest yourself through my life. In the name of Jesus, say, Spirit of the living God, God, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, my Father, I am available. Manifest 
manifest your power, manifest your exceeding great power through my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, say, Holy Spirit, I am available. Manifest your unlimited power, your immeasurable power, your supernatural power through my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, say, my God, my Father, I am available. Use me in this terrain. Use me in my community. Use me in my family. Use me in my country. Use me in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Say, I prophesy long life. I prophesy riches. I prophesy prosperity. I prophesy favor. I prophesy blessings. I prophesy empowerment, divine empowerment upon my life and upon my children, upon my husband, and upon my wife. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy life, riches, prosperity, favor, blessings from God. Yes, upon my life, upon my husband, upon my wife, upon my children, upon my family. In the mighty name of Jesus, say I decree my heart. I confess with my mouth divine favor upon me. Divine progress in my life. Divine blessings in my life. In the name of Jesus, I decree my heart. I confess with my mouth that I'm the head. I'm not the tail. I'm on top. I'm not below. I'm above. I'm not beneath. In the name of Jesus, I decree my heart. I confess with my mouth. I receive divine connections. I receive divine contacts. I receive divine links. I receive divine restoration. I receive divine breakthroughs. I receive divine open doors. I receive divine favor. I receive divine blessings. I receive divine healing. I receive divine health. I receive divine promotion. I receive divine progress. I receive divine prosperity. In the name of Jesus, I decree my heart. I confess with my mouth that I am healthy, abundantly healthy. I am rich, abundantly rich. I am successful, abundantly successful. Successful. I am prosperous, abundantly prosperous. In the mighty name of Jesus, say I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I cover my mind. I cover my heart. I cover my soul. I cover my spirit. I cover my body with the blood of Jesus. I cover everything that concerns me with the blood of Jesus. I cover my children with the blood of Jesus. I cover my my children with the blood of Jesus. I cover my children with the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, say witchcraft chains that were being used against my life. You are broken forever. In the name of Jesus, satanic covenants that were working against me. You are nullified. You are destroyed forever by the blood of Jesus. Say family cases, parental cases, ancestral cases, generational cases that were working against me, that were pronounced against my life. You are now overruled. You are nullified forever by the blood of Jesus. You are nullified forever by the blood of Jesus. Evil words spoken against my life. You are overruled. You are nullified forever by the blood of Jesus. Say incantations, enchantments, hexes, jinxes, spells released against me. You are overruled. You are rubbished by the blood of Jesus. Say manifest now my divine victory. Manifest now my divine favor. Manifest now my divine, my divine progress. Manifest now my divine prosperity. Manifest now my divine open doors. Manifest now my divine breakthroughs. Manifest now my divine health. Manifest now my divine healing. Manifest now my divine connections. Manifest now my divine restoration. Manifest now, 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 manifest now. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. Worship your name. We glorify your name, Lord, that we cannot be defeated and we cannot fail 
Thank you for activating your power in our lives, Lord. That we are not confused of who we are. We know exactly who we are. That we are the children of the Most High God. And that we have got power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. And we thank you, O Father, that even the lawful captive is delivered. We thank you, Father, that even the, the prey of the terrible predator is also delivered. We thank you that you contend with those who contend with us. You fight our battles. We praise your name, O Father. The mighty one of Jacob, we give you praise. Mighty one of Israel, we give you praise. We honor you in this community. We cover our community with the blood of Jesus. There shall no evil befall us all the days of our lives. Neither any calamity come near our habitation. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray.